Sup guys, Juggalo23451, and before we get to our uh, video discussion, I guess you want to call it, I'm going to be talking about what I did or how I attempted to find out information about this. Uh, pretty much, uh, as you know, I have GTX 590s. NVIDIA driver has a voltage lock for the GTX 590s, so that means you can't overclock it in MSI Afterburner. Or I shouldn't say overclock it. Yeah, you can overclock it, but you can't raise the voltage. That's the deal. I'm trying to make this story short. Basically, I called NVIDIA. They didn't admit to any wrongdoing. They didn't know what I was talking about. So pretty much they said call ASUS. I call ASUS. Uh, one guy there did admit, yes, a our, uh, NVIDIA is putting a voltage lock within the driver. I'll give you some info. And pretty much uh, nothing happened. I never got any information after calling two times. I uh, called a second time, or I should say called the next day. And basically I got an idiot on the phone. He didn't know what I was talking about. He was basically more or less a, uh, I would call it a robot, basically trained to say something over and over again th until you get pretty much PO'd and you hang up on him. Uh, pretty much, I said, hey, I want to overclock my card, and then he says, uh, Asus does not support overclocking. I said, okay, then I want you to take the advertisement on your freaking box and say, nothing I want it to be plain in I don't want to see the 200 uh, percent overclocking ability the ability to raise your voltages I want everything off that box then and pretty much he said again we don't support overclocking then I immediately spit out I have this rad this pump pretty much listed everything that I had in my loop and I said I'm idling at 25 degrees C 40 degrees See max load. I think I'm pretty good, so don't tell me uh, overclocking is gonna hurt my hardware. I know more about this than you do. And pretty much, he didn't say anything after that. And uh, what I got out of the conversation, uh, pretty much, is that he was gonna go to a supervisor of driver editing or making the graphics card or something to actually contact Nvidia. So that's what I did to try to find out how to bypass this voltage lock within NVIDIA's drivers and basically I failed hard so it pretty it it sucked but you know what I found a couple of ways to bypass this voltage lock I'm gonna do the easiest first and I'm gonna put this out there if you do decide to overclock your card please ensure that you have proper cooling you do know what you're doing and on top of that monitor your temperatures I don't take in, uh, any responsibility if you do overclock your card or you hurt your card you damage your card you break your card pretty much yeah you get the gist of it one way to bypass the voltage lock input by uh, NVIDIA is to download the older drivers if you can find them I looked them up the ones that you want to use to do the uh, voltage unlock and they took them right off their website so they're pretty much playing it smart not allowing us to download drivers that would enable us to raise the voltage I shouldn't say I shouldn't be saying overclock but raise the voltage of your graphics cards uh, graphics cards that were blowing up were more than likely ASUS graphics card due to the fact that you can crank it up to 1.2 volts the standard uh, set by EVGA is 1.05 which is enough for the graphics card and that's pretty much the max you want to do what ASUS did for the 1.2 volts that's essentially for uh, I would say like liquid nitrogen and extreme overclocking but pretty much uh, people were cranking it up 1.2 and then you would see the famous YouTube video of them making their cards explode but basically what they did is made everything the same and then uh, re-recorded it or recorded it at the perfect timing that's why the video looked so perfect is because they had one graphics card they blew it up and then they recorded it to show uh, the other one blowing up on the fly so that's why that camera angle is so perfect where you can see the smoke and everything okay now on to the second method as I, uh, I'm going to basically say this again, 
if you break your card, if you damage your card, I do not take any responsibility whatsoever, okay? Putting that out there, I'm covering my butt. So you can't say, well, this guy said you can do this and you can do that. No, no, no. Know what you're doing first, and I don't take responsibility if you basically screw up your card. All right? Now on to the next method. Uh, this is going to require you guys who are tech savvy. If you're not tech savvy in this department, uh, excuse me, I highly recommend you read up on guides on there on how to do it, what I'm about to talk about. Get yourself familiarized with the information and everything. Okay? Uh, basically, I'm going to talk about BIOS modding. And what BIOS modding is going to enable you to do is basically raise the minimum voltage for the GTX 590 cards, okay? Programs that you're going to need. You're going to need Nipitor, NV Flash. You're going to need to have a uh, basically a program that makes your USB bootable and uh, pretty much a, uh, I think HP makes it so go in there and type in HP USB bootable uh, flash or something like that I'm sure you'll be able to find something to make your USB uh, bootable and that uh, godlike just totally threw me off what I was gonna say and I Nipitor and GPUs that's the programs that you're gonna need download all those programs immediately uh, after you're down downloading bring up GPUs once you bring up GPUs uh, basically what you're gonna do is uh, open it up then you're gonna look on the uh, GPUs and you're gonna see oh it's this um, is this megahertz? Is this uh, manufacturing process and all this stuff? It's going to give you a whole bunch of information, your stock clocks and all that fun stuff. What you're going to do is uh, scroll down, or I should say, look down and look to your right, and you're going to basically see a. Uh, it's going to look like a microchip, but it's going to be raised out a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going. Go, uh, excuse me, I'm talking too fast. What you're going to do is click on that. That is going to take the uh, BIOS from your card, save it onto your computer. I highly recommend in making a copy of this, uh, dr not driver, but your BIOS in case you need to flash it back into stock settings. Wink, wink, if you overclock your card too high, they can't tell you uh, that you, they can't tell that you did because you have it at stock settings or stock uh, bio settings okay once you did that you're gonna get your program GPUs or not GPUs but Nipitor 1.06 it's not available for the public so you're gonna have to go to uh, nvtech.com or nvtech.net you're gonna have to donate uh, money to get it so this is the only way how you're gonna do it you're gonna have to do that. Bring up that program, and pretty much it's gonna list uh, everything and everything you want to know about your car: the minimum, the maximum voltage, uh, the core, uh, the core values, your shaders, pretty much everything about your card. You can make your card your own in a sense with this program. But what you want to do is uh, pretty much don't worry about the max voltage. What you want to do is worry about the minimum voltage. Why? Because NVIDIA has locked down the minimum voltage of the card. So when you go ahead and uh, adjust all these settings in minimum voltage, that's all you're going to see. So it's pretty easy. Um, more or less, I would say do it between 0.998 volts all the way up to 1.05 volts. Keep in mind, the higher voltage that you put Within this GTX 590, the higher that the OCP more than likely is going to kick in and do a lockdown and start downclocking to cool down the card and all that stuff. So I'm just letting you guys know. I would probably do 0.998 volts. And from what I've seen, you can do up to 700 megahertz or more. It just depends on your card, okay? 
So you're going to go ahead and edit your minimum voltage. Do that. Save it as a ROM. Uh, that's the only way how you're going to BIOS uh, flash your GTX 590s. All right. You save it. You put your USB in. Uh, you format it to make it bootable. You put NV flash on it. Then after that, you take the BIOS uh, modded file that you made, put it in there, turn off your computer, go into your settings in your inside your motherboard's BIOS, and make sure that you can have a USB bootable uh, disk or USB thumb drive, I should say, and make sure it's going to be able to boot when it's plugged in. So make sure that's selected yes. Restart your computer, then you're going to begin the process of BIOS flashing and all that fun stuff. Um, can't really get into detail about that, but I'll try to link some guides in the description. So, pretty much go through the process of BIOS flashing, and you're probably going to have to put FP0 tag the name of the ROM, hit enter, BIOS flash it. Uh, Windows starts up and make sure you uninstall your old drivers and reinstall them anytime you do any sort of BIOS flashing and all that stuff okay so I know this video is kinda long and tedious but I'm trying to put this information out this uh, excuse me out there for everybody to use for everybody who's tech savvy that wants to use this so I'm just letting you guys know and I'll make sure to list all the programs I listed and our websites in the link description below. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, and you guys have a great day. Bye.